What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Gamer Dude here. Welcome you back to some more Tang and Ropa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, uh, we found out about this girl named Mukuro Ishi. Oh, I forgot to pronounce her last name. I literally been doing pretty good today. And then literally forgot in video. Great. We love it. We stand it. But Kyoko is very worried about her because she is considered the ultimate despair and the hiery of Monokuma. So, we gotta figure out what the heck is going on. Um, how this is gonna work. Kyoko, who got her keys stripped from her by Byakia, is sitting at our door, more than likely. Um, wondering if she can come in and bunk. And her plan was me. I swear, if that's not the case, I'm gonna be sad. But, you know what? Hopefully it's Kyoko. It is! Girl, you can come in whenever you want to. Uh, how are you? Hey. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Oh, wait, 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 no! No, you're supposed to bunk with me, Kyoko! No! It's night time! You, you, you sleep in this room. Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared in the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during the night time, but I can't just not go. But Kyoko, you're with me. In my, I guess there's surveillance cameras. You probably want to be without surveillance cameras. <laughs> that would make sense, actually. Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay. I'm used to it Correct. by now. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about right in front of the surveillance cameras, right? Of course. Love you. So what does that mean? So... Well, this has something to do with whatever you stole from Monokuma. Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal, in fact? So... I stole this. A key! Wait, 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 wait. Did you get them keys to the headmaster's room? Girl! We're going in there right now! Probably not right now, but, like, at some point... We gotta get into that room. But looking at it, I can tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. Oh, so you've already been in there. Girl, what are you cooking? What? You snuck into the headmaster's room. But wasn't it locked? However... The lock was broken. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember when she, in her note, or remember what she said in her note, I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us. That's right. That's right. We have to uncover whatever secrets may lay hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the rule or the room was open after a class trial was over yesterday. But if I had just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. You asked me to meet at the data center in the order to Correct. Correct. I wanted Monok I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took the opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then what you told me yesterday. Did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba, the sixteenth student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Did you find out about Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in Indeed. there? I did find the file in the headmaster's room that talked about her. Yes, I don't know the details yet, but. One thing I do know is that Mukuro Ikazaba is dangerous. Is it dangerous? In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. The mastermind? But didn't Ultra Ego say that Headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No. The Headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have any proof yet, but I have no doubt that I'm right. To make sure such a strong to make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does it mean that Mukuro, Mukuro Ikasaba 
really could be the headmaster anyway. mind. Anyway, the key is one big opportunity we've been waiting for to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, I mean, that's why... That, what's this key even unlock? So... I don't know yet, which is why. <laughs> I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't. That is way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know that there's a, just one mastermind, right? What if there's more than one person watching us? Right? But they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky, hey. Kyoko. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Wanakuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true, then the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time. And then there would be have to be a period of time where the mastermind is vulnerable. We need to find out for sure if that is actually true. If we can exploit it, maybe. But no matter what the reward, the risk is too high. When I think what might happen if we fail... Why is that? I don't think you need to worry about that much after all. With minimal mole restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Peaks Academy at your discretion. <laughs> no restrictions have been placed in our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break the rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all of the rules would, in the world won't matter. He could just kill us without a second thought. I see. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. Correct. What? In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules to adhere to them no matter what? In other or, words. Or to adhere to them or no matter what. In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's a reason not no reason not to do it, right? But if you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. That's such a strong quote, but it's also true. Dang, Kyoko. Okay. Hitting us with that knowledge here. We know the danger, but if the risk means solving a mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? That moment, I finally realized. I had never seen a slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. With, and with that in, in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it. If something were to ever happen to me. If something happens. However, I'm not planning on dying. But there's always a chance of it. And death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please. I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine. I'll hold on to it. But just because you asked me to. But I'm going to give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes. Of course. Hey. Oh. And one more thing. You can't tell anyone else what I've discovered. Sure. But... Then there's a chance the mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Um, uh, you mean there's that's something else? Well, it's nothing. Forget I said anything. I, I can't just forget that so easily. Then. Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. Counting on you, Makoto. I have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best goodbye. shot. Go on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time, and I like every other time she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was a sudden knot in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything is going to be fine. I know it because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself or helped shake off some of my anxieties. Then I had to go to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma. You can see me, right? Get out here. I've got a bone to pick with you. Then a few moments later. Monokuma! Well, 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 this is a surprise. You be, being the one to call me out and all. Hey, hey. hey by the way. Um, huh? What were you and Kyoko up to? Going into the bathhouse, just the two of you in the middle of the night? 
definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm, wet, and warm and wet, I bet you guys removed to conform with the local international censorship laws. Oh. <laughs> Is that okay? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that an actual line in the video game, or is that? A <laughs> I really hope that it's a line in the video game because if it actually is literally translated to that, that's hilarious. And if it's not, and it actually did get removed, I need to know what Monokuma said. It is literally a win either way. Okay, moving on. Oh, overheard, didn't you? You're not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I absolutely have no interest in being in late night bath scenes because I have to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from the X rated exploits. Oh, so this is why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse. Wow. Bullseye! Or maybe it's because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyways. Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went through all the trouble to get me out here and now what do you want? Oh, well, um, there's something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether I made of it, may I, wait, ma, um, whether I made, or I'm a mademoiselle, mademoiselle or a dude fella? Actually. But in the bear kingdom, there is no male and female. Um, there actually is. What? Seriously? My entire then what am existence. I? This is kind That's of enough. Crazy. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What is this precious of yours, by chance? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible at all, but... Is seriously, is that what you dragged me out for? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be a hundred megaton freaking kidding me right now. You're not gonna ask something useful like how I to get the best honey or urine. What? Uh, okay, okay. The you you know all the breeding tips. You know we gotta know how to you know do that. I don't know what urine is, and I don't really need to know. But you know it's fine. It's chill. <laughs> This is just crazy. All this pubescent teen boy is nutty as you. God, you are so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and... Star, 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 star. That's it. What was the second thing? It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in for yourself. Making me trudge all the way here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in the brain of yours. And next time you summon me... For something stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Whew. I hope that kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is hope for Kyoko and hope she makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she'll be fine, right? I went to my or back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and go back to sleep. Well, we got a TV this time. <gasps> no! Why was she here? The one in the first. No! It looked so like Chihiro. Oh! I don't think it was, but I swear to God, if it was actually Chihiro and I know this not, of course I would. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! What is happening? What? Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. 
Unfortunately, development has been canceled. No! <laughs> that was actually... <laughs> I was so hyped. Hmm, this is super stylish, super fashionable game was canceled during development. Monaco! Well, you really did that. But we'll start back up again if Danganronpa sells well. Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends, too. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh, what's going on? What's happening? I was so intensely, like, paying attention. And it was like, oh, this game's been canceled. No! I also couldn't read the whole thing, so uh, I'll probably have to do an edit on that, but. Where did Kyoko Good sleep morning, for the night? Everyone. That is, is my question. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Why didn't Makoto leave his door unlocked, though, for freaking her in the first place? My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to go to the dining hall. I am very worried about Kyoko's life. If she wasn't able to get into her room, she broke a rule and violated a rule, which will cause her to get killed. And if Byakuya causes Kyoko to get killed, I'm sorry, my number three. You're going to go down in the list. Simply because of that. Like, if, if, it, if it was an outright kill, it would be different. What? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? So sorry, I'm not really feeling great today. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that is, is gonna work? Huh? huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hm. I don't recall giving you permission. I just thought, I mean, since a day has passed, that it may be reset. Hm? So so sorry. Huh? Please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign on my neck that says bad girl. I'll clean your bathroom with with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. <laughs> Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I p promise. If I do, you can always stuff my m m mouth full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I, I, I don't mind. <sighs> It's no use. She's disgusting to the bone, man. So, um, anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be? Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, or for your wedding. Anything. Um, Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday, so she's not going to show up anymore. I can't tell the others wh why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason is, I am curious to what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh, yeah. You still have her key, right? What's this? Oh, were you looking for Mrs. Kirigiri? What? What? what do you want now? Hey! Hey! I'm right, I'm right. You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Ooh. Oh, well, hard to say. Huh? Uh, you don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here to be try and prod us for the information. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask when you ask someone for their favorite what their favorite movie is, and then they name some indie bullcrap? This is very suspicious. I feel like I'm g g getting whiplash the way he changes his subjects like that. Thank goodness it looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I'm glad our plans went off just fine last night, which could mean. Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? Hey, hey. So, I was right. You are looking for Mrs. Kirigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? Hm. We have no idea, Monokuma. Even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you anyway. For serious. Mm. Mm, I see. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Don't care anymore. Say, uh, sayonara, suckers! As soon as he was gone, he glanced around at each other. Or we glanced around at each other. So what do we do now? Does that mean even Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um... Don't you think we should go look for her? Hmm. 
And how do you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah. How can he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somehow where even Monokuma wouldn't notice. Where could that be? Indeed. We spent the rest of the breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have potentially gone. Afterwards, we had returned to our rooms. Free time! What are we gonna do during free time? Woo! Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is gonna be more than just me staying up late last night. Uh, probably. Um, I hate doing this, but I have to spend time with Hero. I'm gonna literally, like... I, I literally have to. I think Hero is the only person I have not actively spent time with because I've had little to no care in the world to see whatever the heck he has to say. But unfortunately, I do have to try and unlock his skill if he has one. I mean, he doesn't because he's Hero, but like also he does technically. It is probably like a pretty good one. Like I have a feeling it's like a stupidly good one because you have to sit and deal with him for, <laughs> for a long period of time. Um... That's my guess, anyway. Also, it said he was, like... Did I read that? Or did I read the chart wrong? Did it say he was actually, like, near the biochem room? Yeah, he is. What the heck, Hero? You have no business being near the biochem room. What is even your purpose for being in here? Monokuma seems like super advanced, right? I think we've been caught in the middle of something terrible. A global revolution by the ancient civilizations that we've ruined. Their alien technology will destroy us. Or maybe not. I don't know. Should I talk to Hiro while he's acting like this? I don't want to, but we should. Huh? You actually want to hang out it's with me? Like well then, mystery. I got a story for you. My research revealed a surprising connection between Tokyo Tower and the lost Lumerian civilization. Hero spent a lot of time talking about stuff that didn't make any sense. Typical hero! Would you like to hear a present? No, but yes. You can have a Coca-Cola. Have this. Have Coca-Cola. <laughs> I'll take whatever I can get my hands on. That's just my style, man. Does that mean he liked it? Could it be? Hey, Makoto, what do you think? You and I, me meeting like this? It wasn't a coincidence. Mm. So I've got some good news for you. I'm going to give you a, a psychic reading at a huge discount. A discount. How about that? Normally it's a thousand bucks for two hours, but for you, let's call it nine hundred dollars. It's only a hundred dollar discount, and even then it's way too expensive. Don't be mean. Hey, come on. You can count yourself lucky that the ultimate clairvoyant is willing to tell you your future. You are so you are right pretty often? Well I sure am. The bare minimum, I've got a twenty percent chance of accuracy. 20% sounds pretty sketchy. Heck? For real? Don't make that face. Didn't you hear what I said? 20% of the time, I'm right every time. That includes natural disasters, election results, you name it. You don't realize how amazing that is. How about that? Okay, fine. I'll give you a special trial run. After all, I've already seen what the future has in store for you. What? When did you see it? Well... <laughs> you won't believe what I saw. It would appear that the mother of your children and the mother of my children are the same woman. What the frick, Hero? What the... Hero, 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 Hero. I refuse. Denied. Don't like I'm it. Right, right? It doesn't matter if you don't like it. That's just the way it is. 20% accuracy, you said. You know? At least. I pray to everything holy that you are wrong. Please be wrong. <laughs> now then, since my special trial since this is my special trial run, I'm afraid I cannot apply the discount. That'll be one thousand dollars, please. Don't worry, you can pay me after we get out of here. Wait, hold on. 
But there's no way you're going to be right, right? Hmm. If you like, I can do a reading right now to see whether or not my reading was right or not. Naturally, additional fees will apply. <laughs> Think about it, okay? And let me know as soon as you're ready for my services. Okay, he's gone. Do I even have enough money in my bank account to take another crack at it? No, I can't bring myself to pay for something like that. I can see how people fall into the kind of cycle, though. That was close. Please, whoever listening, whoever's listening, I am begging you. Whatever happens, don't let him be right. Heroes report card was basic, <laughs> updated based on your experience. You unlocked Lost of Thought. I knew we were going to get a skill if we talked to him. Okay, cool. Lost of Thought is probably absolutely garbage, but, you know, it's fine. We'll find out what the skill does later. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead in. Now I'm getting chills. Is it that I think I might be getting sick? More free time. Okay, actually, isn't, isn't there a way that I can see the skills that I've obtained? No. Oh, there it is, under skills. Wait, did we get two skills for him? Cool and composed? And envious influence. We did! Wait a minute. You can get... How many skills are there in total? Enough for us to probably talk to Hero some more, even, even though I hate it. Even though I hate it, enough to probably talk to Hero some more. Ugh. But whatever. It's I gotta deal with it. You know, I have to deal with it. Okay, where the heck are you, Hero? Oh, we're all on the first floor again. Hero's in the kitchen. Fine. We'll hang out with Hero more. Whatever. Game. Even though I'm literally making my own choice on this. A certain organization is behind all of this. I'm finally sure of it, but I can't say their name because I can. Because as soon as you do, they come out and get rid of you. Kirk Cobain said their name. John Lennon said their name. They're bad, so bad, really, really bad. Ugh, I need well? you. Well then, why don't you get into a heated discussion about cosmology? I learned about all things with heroes, theories, the origin of the universe, and all of that. Hero and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Hero a present? Sure. Um, what are we giving Hero? We gave him Coca-Cola earlier today. You want potato chips to go with your Coca-Cola? Do I even have potato chips? I do not. Um, here, you know what? Have a cup of noodles. You know, go ahead and take the Sonic cup of noodles. That's real nice of you, man. I'll gladly take it. I get the impression he liked it. That's good. Yes! Yes! Couple of noodles! We're gonna share that couple of noodles, okay, hero? It's fine. It's We're gonna... Uh, or, uh, you know what? I'll just make another one. I'll get another one from Monokuma Shop. We'll be good. Yo. We'll have a, a couple of noodles date, essentially. Hey, Makoto. What's up, my brother? And fellow mother lover. Oh! Oh, don't say that. Don't say it like that. Oh, my God. Let's raise our semi-siblings up right, okay? Stop talking about that. Oh, so, oh, so you ready for the next round? Never. Actually, how do you do your fortune telling anyway? I saw you doing palm readings and stuff, and you didn't use any tools or anything. Hmm. Wow, I didn't know you knew about divin divination tools. Sounds like you know your way around the spirit world. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure you need to know that much to know about those kind of tools, though. Yo. Now that I know you're an expert, I have a question for you. A correct answer gets you another discount. No thanks. Could it be? There are 22 cards known as Major Arcana and 56 cards known as Minor Arcana in 
tarot cards. Generally, the cards of the major arcana are used for divination. What am I talking about? The tarot cards. Oh, I know. You're talking about tarot cards. Thanks, Persona. <laughs> Literally, thank you, Persona. Because, you know, I kind of knew a little bit about it before Persona. But I knew a lot more after Persona. So, thank you. Oh, gloriously correct. I will doubt tell your fortune for the measly 600 bones. Wow, really? It's something I'd never say. I've had enough fortune telling for what? For one lifetime. Mm. I see. Well, well, if you changed your mind, you know where to find me. Sure thing. Anyway, I want to get back to what I asked you before. If you don't use any tools or whatever, how do you see your fortune don't telling? Don't be mean. Well, don't be fooled. I have my own techniques. For example, I employ numerology. Numerology? Yo. It's a mathematical formula used to predict the future based on birth dates, letter numbering, and all of that. But I didn't see you do anything like that either. Hmm. Well, it's more of an in inspirational style of fortune telling. Some kind of unknown power just acts through you and you suddenly, bam, you get the info. You're talking about intuition. How about that? Don't try and describe it using such a cheesy word. But if it's not intuition, then what type of power, or kind of supernatural power is it? Like some occult mystery. Don't you compare my clairvoyance to some oscillate bullcrap. I hate the oscillate. Take the, that crap somewhere else. You hate occult well? the occult? Yep. Now that you're... I, I like how I said oscillate. It is literally the occult. Whatever, I corrected it. It's fine. Yep. Now here's some good news. Act now and I'll throw in an extra bonus on your reading. I used white magic to record CD of spirit messages and received them from a luxury suite of heaven. Five seconds for this baby, and you'll be witnessing miracles and communing with the angels for days. And you said you hate the occult. What the heck? Hey, business is business. The more I talk to him, the less I understand. Here's your report cards updated with your experience. Your skill points have raised. I shook off Hero's scale sale I shook off Hero's sales pitch and headed back to my room for a while. Then it'll be nighttime. Cause the maximum is usually two. So big sad. Free time is over. Ugh, I'm getting the chills. I feel kinda dizzy. I can't help it, I need to sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I feel like my body has reached its limit. As I drooped under my bed, I felt like falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head hit my pillow. Well, it's not quite true. I didn't completely pass out. It was more like my unconscious was my consciousness went dim. It weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all I have to say. I was restless. Ugh. Oh. At some point, I found myself wandering through the strange dream. Within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls out of my mind. I under understand that voice it's so familiar ah I it's understand it's me i understand i should understand everything my goal isn't to get out of here it's to stay here huh what am i trying to say oh, this is all for hope and that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. My dream just now. What? So strange, huh? Oh, no, 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 no! <gasps> Pant, 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 pant. You, Kyoko? What the? What did you? What did you say?
Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing is only for those unchanging, ending happily days, days of boredom, repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as I can see. Life without the tiniest speck of normality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! And with that, we'll see you in the next episode. Love y'all! Bye!